Ransom, we were shooting blanks. We were? Of course. <laughs> well, some of them were blanks. <laughs> you know something? That was a sweet number. It sure was. You know something else? What? I hate sweet numbers. <laughs> Well, guys, it's just the three of us for a weekend in the swamp. Oh, no! Well, what'd you think of that number? I can't talk about it. Why not? I still have relatives in Germany. <laughs> nice song. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the time I ran away from home. When was that? Last night. The wife was driving me crazy. <laughs> well, so much for the prairie dogs. Yeah, now we got to worry about termites. <laughs> That's what you call a wire act. On this show, everything's a wire act. No? Sure. You keep asking, why are they doing that? Oh! <laughs> Is that their act? Yep. Well, how come they don't talk? Because it's mime. I thought you said it was theirs. <laughs> Just when you think this show is terrible, something wonderful happens. What? It ends. <laughs> Oh, they were terrific. Well, they should be. They've been practicing since 1908. <laughs> was that Diane? Sure it was. Didn't you recognize her? I thought she wore a black patch over one eye. No, no, no. That's her sister, Marcia Diane. <laughs> I don't understand him. Why doesn't he go back to what he was doing before he became a chef? What was that? Nothing. <laughs> well, I think I'll go to the dentist. No. Sure, after this show, nothing hurts. <laughs> well, they shouldn't allow gangs like that on the street. I'd rather have them on the street than on the stage. <laughs> oh, Barga played the Muppet Show. Yep, who won? This time, Victor was the loser. <laughs> uh, seriously, we should give the frog a birthday present. Like what? How about a nice bottle of pig repellent? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I dropped my gum. Hey, lady, would you toss my gum up? <laughs> you could have taken it out of the wig first. <laughs> Ever kissed a frog before? Never. No time like the present. Uh, <laughs> Should all acquaintance be forgot? Why are you singing that? I forgot. No. Oh. <laughs> you know, seeing a number like that always makes me nostalgic. Yeah? Nostalgic for what? DDT. <laughs> so they blew up half the theater. At least they blew up the right half. There's. There. <laughs> uh, I wonder why they didn't just let Arlo do a solo. They were afraid if they left him alone, he'd make a run for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those heifers are pretty good hoofers. <laughs> yeah, just hope it doesn't curdle the milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was different. I should say so. So many of these songs are long and boring. Yes, they finally managed one short and boring. <laughs> Does that mean they're getting better or worse? <laughs> Was that supposed to be poetry? Yes, the bear has gone from bad to verse. Oh! <laughs> well, as they say in France, adios. Well, that's Spanish. I know, I don't speak French. <laughs> but first, an opening number. Oh, no. I can't take any more of your opening numbers. Come on, guys, what's wrong with them? They're so weird. Yeah, what do you have tonight? A Chinese gorilla dancing ballet? Whoa! <laughs> uh, cancel the opening number. Wonderful! Wonderful! Yeah, that's great, the way! Great. Uh, now, why can't they do numbers like that? We just did. Uh, yeah, so you did. Uh, wasn't very good after all. Uh, ooh, ooh! Terrible! Well, that's talent. An mm. opera singer who tap dances and sings cowboy songs. I wonder if there's anything she isn't good at. Yes? Choosing what show to be on. <laughs> Wake up! Mm. Who's the guest star tonight? Beverly Hills? Uh, I've been there before. Mm. Oh, poor little guy. Hope he's not hurt. Well, at least he got the pig to stop singing. Oh. <laughs> Ever gone to a witch doctor? They're all witch. Ever heard of a poor doctor? Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? 
Yes, the frog is certainly taking a beating on this show. Yeah, it's hard to feel sorry for him. We take a beating every show. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hard hat for? I want to be ready in case they start throwing pigs at us again. <laughs> uh, you know, it's too bad Gonzo's leaving the show. Yeah, I can think of some other people I'd rather see leave the show. Who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you ever go to those dances? Can't. I've got a slip disco. <laughs> <laughs> slip disco. <laughs> well, he's actually gone. Will we ever forget him? Who? You know, uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> you know, Gonzo would have been perfect for that movie he was going to star in. What movie was that? The Revenge of the Little Blue Geek. <laughs> uh, we call these things Muppet Shows, and we call tonight's Muppet Show a good one. And that's because our very special guest star is the amazing master of jazz, Mr. Dizzy Gillespie. Why, tonight, even Statler and Waldorf will have a good time. Statler isn't here tonight, Kermit. He's sick. Oh, well, that's too bad. The flu? No, the show. He's sick of it. <laughs> well, uh, don't get lonely up there, okay? Not much chance of that. My wife is using Statler's ticket. She's just powdering her nose. No kidding. I've always wanted to meet your wife. I thought the show had started. Who's the frog? <laughs> That's Kermit, dear. What's your wife's name, Waldorf? Astoria. <laughs> it figures. Now, let me get this straight. This is a typical show, right, Waldorf? Oh, I'd say so, Astoria, my dear. <laughs> First, a frog talks, and then a fish sings. Ooh. I wanted you to see for yourself. I bet you thought I came here to have a good time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you think of that, Poopsie? Well, not too bad. Mm -hmm. I can understand why you keep doing it week after week. You can? By the way, how much do they pay you? you pay me? Of course. Can you imagine some poor, stupid turkey doing this for nothing? Gobble, <laughs> <laughs> gobble. Oh, honestly, Waldorf, I don't understand you. Why do you come here and put up with this irritating, mindless, incessant nonsense when you could stay home with me? Uh, no comment. How long are we here for? 20 years. If I'd known that judge was giving us the box, I'd have asked for the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand a word of that. Mit Grusnel et der Flutflut. Well, why didn't they say that in the first place? <laughs> hey, wake up. What'd you think of that last number? Oh, 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 that George Phyllis is a wonderful singer. You mean Phyllis George is a wonderful singer. They're both terrific. <laughs> I can't believe those rats were responsible for this show. Why not? They were also responsible for the bubonic plague. <laughs> what do you think of pigs on bikes? I never have liked road hogs. <laughs> road hogs. <laughs> what are those little flying things? Snowbirds? Oh, it's no good either. You know, something doesn't have to be funny to be good. What'd you think of this show? It was good. Oh. <laughs> uh, poor Butch and Sundance. After an escape like that, they'll have to hide out in some dismal, dark, depressing hole in the wall. <laughs> we'll hide out here, Butch. <laughs> How about that? They brought the house down. <laughs> That's an old joke. Well, some things improve with age. You don't. You think there's life in outer space? There's certainly none in this theater. <laughs> That tune, how about you? I like New York in June. How about you? You know, I'll always regret that I didn't study Shakespeare when I was a kid. When you were a kid, you could have talked to Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been an evening to remember. Why? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> You think the lobsters would share some of their popcorn with us? No chance. They're too shellfish. Oh. <laughs> You're too shellfish. Mm. What'd you think of Linda? Terrific. Yeah, how about that rubber band? Well, make them into a tire and drive them to Pittsburgh. 
<laughs> the grief you've turned into Money Man. Well, I've seen many an egg laid on this show, but this is a first. Why? They laid a deviled egg. Oh! <laughs> you look like too kindly, old gentleman. Can I hide here? Hey, Alan, here's one you missed. <laughs> you think that Jekyll Hyde stuff is expensive? No, my wife has a whole glass of it every morning. <laughs> you know the trick I'd like the frog to do? What's that? Make us disappear. <laughs> At first, I thought that number was going to be good, but then... Then what? Then they raised the curtain. Oh! <laughs> I wonder if we'll be called up as witnesses at the trial. What trial? Well, you don't think Andy's going to take this line down. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to see my lawyer. Why? I'm going to find out if you can sue a show for breach of taste. Oh! <laughs> oh, what a great number. We should send roses back to Carol Channing. Well, we give the weird guys with the big eyes. Fifty lashes. <laughs> <laughs> With friends like these, who needs emeralds? <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be a fantastic show. Yeah, it better be, because tonight we're keeping score. Yes, and on a scale of one to ten, here's your score so far. <laughs> <laughs> Two? Oh, come on, guys, forget about keeping score. Well, on a scale of one to ten, we give it a, uh, three. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't that good. Let's give it a one. <laughs> sweet, 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 sweet. so bad after all. I wouldn't say that. Right now, the score is Diana Ross 10, Muppets 3. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Torture to have to watch the show. 